Hello and welcome to my planning history of the Philadelphia Negro by W.E.B. Du Bois. My name is Chastity Hunter and I'm enrolled in a Master's of Urban Planning, American City Planning course here at the University of New Orleans. And this is my final project. And we are going to talk about W.E. Du Bois. Here are some of the topics we're going to touch on. Um, and here we go. W.E.B. Du Bois was commissioned by the University of Pennsylvania to conduct a sociological study of the African-American community in Philadelphia's Seventh Ward. This study showed that African-Americans in the Seventh Ward faced significant racial disparities in all aspects of their lives. Du Bois' study was very comprehensive and gave an overview of life for Black Americans living within the United States. Du Bois' research revealed that African Americans were less likely to be able to attend school than white Americans, and Black Americans were also more likely to attend segregated schools. African Americans were more likely to be unemployed, and they were more likely to be employed in low-skill and low-paying jobs. And in terms of housing, African Americans were more likely to live in overcrowded and dilapidated housings. And in terms of health care, African Americans had less access to quality health care than white Americans. Du Bois's research challenged notions that Black Americans experienced poverty, illness, and deprivation because of inherent, inherent biological character. Instead, Du Bois's research revealed that there are social and economic factors that impact the ability of African Americans to live a whole and quality filled life. Du Bois's book also has important implications for public policy. His research shows that government actions can promote segregation or they can eliminate segregation. Government policies that promote racial integration and equity can help to reduce racial disparities. Du Bois went on to found the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. The Philadelphia Negro remains very relevant and influential today. It's a pivotal read for understanding racial challenges and government policy. Here are my references. Thank you so much for watching.